W in the chat. <laughs> and now we have a runner no. risk free here. We have a runner risk free here. And now we have runners towards 7 to 59. Let's see. You guys can close full if you guys want to. She's a runner. Right. She's a track star. We got a runner here today. <laughs> Yo. Ah. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you guys are having a great week. These are our best moments from the streams throughout the week. Um, so from all the highlights from Monday to Friday will be clipped and put into this video. If you guys want to know more and you guys want to watch more, you guys can then tune into the streams every morning at 6 30 a.m. Eastern. All right, I'll catch you guys in the video. Peace. TI. Oh, we might get a closure off the alley here. If you get a closure off the alley on gold here, um, 30 minute respects that support. I'm willing to take a buy off the alley candle. So once this kind of flips here, I will be in a position here. Yes, I'm in a position here, chat. Got in a buy here. Got in a buy as the candle flipped as ex as you waited for. Stop losses the previous candle low for 50 pips. Obviously went half first with that. And then TP is up here for 150 pips overall. Um, how I'm going to manage the trade is the moment we come up here, get around like a, I guess you can say like our 8, 10 pip mark, I want to say. Um, we're right now 6% profit, but around like 8, 10 pips, I'll close half my positions that run risk free. And after we tap 74 and 9, I'll close another 25% and let the rest run until 1759 as I am expecting price to come up to fill the area with the four hour candle flipping bullish again above that range. In this case here, you're, you're, the, you manage your risk. You can do whatever you want with the chat. Um, everyone manages risk differently, but um, a scenario you can do is you can use the current count stops instead if you don't want to have a 50 pip stop. but I'm just more comfortable with the 50 pip stop. If price comes down to rebreak the current count of lows, I will look to close half the positions. Um, but that's what I'm going to do with this current count of lows. Right, I'm, I'm going to close half if it were, were to come down to rebreak. Chat, I'm going to move my stops to break even here, making this a risk free trade. Um, you got, you are, you're at 10 percent profit here. You can close half if you want to. I'm just going to let it run actually um, without closing any partials in this situation here, expecting price to come up to tap uh, 1759 here. So this might be one of those huge runner days. Let's see what happens, chat. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, first. So locked in 10 pips are on a dot. 200 and whatever profit on a two lot um, with small risk. So two ten, perfect. Yeah. Two six, two six for me. Yeah, chat. So in this case, we move our stops to um, 10 pips in profit. We chilled it and we just got stopped out here. So this fits minute kind of opened up here. Yeah, obviously didn't break the lows yet, but it has no top wick. I would expect it to flip here to continue up here. Um, but obviously we're out of the shirt here. We need a top wick here, chat, to use the current count stops. That's the only way I could enter here if we get a nice top wick. And let's see, we, we, we also don't know how big the top wick is. So I'm not sure if I'm using half risk or normal risk in this case yet. But let's see, like obviously, like we need like a minimum like 10 pit wick or something. A 18 pit wick would be lovely. Like this ain't bad. This ain't bad. Got a self stop here placed right around here in the flip. We're gonna use the current count stops in this case. In this case, the current count stops are 14 pips. I got him, I got activated there. You're activated there in position here. Too. Got activated for cells there as we came down to rebreak the lows. Uh, my stops is going to be the current kind of highs for around. Uh, let me check real quick what it is. Current count of stops, which is around 15 pips here. Um, Cause we're using current count of stops in this case. And TP is down here going to be around, uh, I want to say uh 29 pip target. Oh yeah, I got in position there. I got activated in cells there as we, as we flipped there. Damn. Got stopped out here. Price came down, flipped. Since we use the current count of stops, the stops are a bit more aggressive in this case, I want to say, because we're using current count of stops. We can't use the previous count of stops. So with the flip of that candle, we anticipated that flip to be the high of the current candle. So that's why we can use that stops in this case. But again, the trade is still valid for price to drive down here um, towards the next support here. But it's just, we can't, we, we, we couldn't use the previous count of stops. That would have been a, 80 pip target or 80 pip stop loss for only like a 25 pip 30 pip tp yeah so price came up rebroke the highs and then flip bearish here got stopped out here guys at a break even here um we're gonna call it a trade we're gonna call it a day actually because we entered the first position the original position and then what ended up happening was price came out to rebreak the highs and like again like since we're using the break of the highs it's a bit more aggressive due to the fact that the hourly or the hourly hasn't completely closed yet so we don't know if, like 100 percent if that's the high yet but going off of probability that's a high chance it could be the high of that candle so um yeah i entered our position got stopped to break in the second position gonna call it a trade there okay so the 15 has closed um bearish respecting that support so there's no buys yet however it does show us that we're respecting the most recent resistance though or the most recent supports though so i'll say in this case if we come up now and we reflip and we break the 
Bro, third man flips and one hour flips and we re 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 the 15 minute highs for a 15 minute starter play. That's my entry. Stops here are looking like it's going to be around 40 pips. So probably going to go half risk but with it being a 4 pip stop. Um, half risk. And then I'm going to have my target up here somewhere at like 17, 59 ish. Leaving runners. May not close partials. Let's see. May just leave a runner risk free at the 10 pips and move my stops up. Um, Imagine it, but let's see, let's see. I might, I might close, I'm not sure yet. But buy stops are placed right here on a break of the high using the current count stop. So right now, it's gonna be the current 15 minute lows. Oh, can we break the highs? There you go, I'm activated, activated. chat. Got in a buy here, Got had a buy stop that got activated here. Stop loss is gonna be, what was it, the current count of low? Or the, sorry, the, the past uh, 15 minute count of low, which is right here. And then TP is up here at, and this is so far, up here at, 1759 here but um oh we're gonna move my stops to break even very sooner as we're about to get our 10 pips perhaps nope not yet not 10 pips yet um yeah i'm looking to move my stops to break even here at around like 1746.400 around that that 10 pip mark but basically it's very soon here i'm gonna move my stop loss to break even here um making this now a risk-free trade and i'm gonna close half at 10 here actually i'm gonna close half my positions here at 10 pips that locking in 10 um, and then I'm gonna leave the rest running until TP. W in the chat. <laughs> and now we have a runner no. risk free here. We have a runner risk free here. And now we have runners towards 7 to 59. Let's see. You guys can close full if you guys want to. She, she, she's a runner. Right. She's a track star. We got a runner here today. <laughs> wow. I hit, I hit break even chat. What hit break even plan? after closing half there. That's fine. Guys, you play stupid games. You win stupid prizes. Let's say you do win news. What's the point of trying it out again? Like, it, it, it's just, it's very RNG how news comes out. It doesn't matter if news come, like, if they're expecting good numbers or bad numbers. News can come out whatever it wants to come out as. They can come out, like, lower than expected, a lot higher than expected. Very bad, very good, which can make price do whatever it wants to do. So, and then even if th th those numbers come out, the way they do, You'll still have to experience the whipsaws, uh, the, um, what's, what's the other thing called? Um, slippage, you experience slippage. So, like, there's no point of playing that game, um, at all. And things like people win and people think, yo, you know, I won news here. I'm gonna go at this shit. I'm gonna try it again next time. They try again next time. What else is happening is they take, they, they take, they may take a, another potential loss. And it's just like, it's not worth it, man. It's just, it's just a stupid game to play. It's like, it's like saying good versus bad profits this is so emotional it's just so emotional with news right here that'd be perfect i'm gonna place a buy stop right here on the break of the high there um as price goes back into range so the, the whole setup here guys is the fact that we close back into the range right on a one hour time frame so the entry the entry type now is since we have a small wicker i might wait for the break of the highs um or since we opened up with a top wick first i'm gonna enter on the break of the highs instead of entering on the flip of the candle okay but this could be the bottom wick. Once you flip a lush again, you should be activated for price to drive up towards the range. This oh, 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 we got activated here for sure. Yeah, I got activated right, here. I'll, sh I'll shut up, chat. Um, <laughs> got in the buy position as we finally got activated. Stop loss is, a, is the previous count oh, low for 18 shit, pips. So. And TP is up here, risking around or for 40 pips. Oh, shoot. Nice. Six pips in profit. Um, regarding regarding our, our risk management in this case here. I'm gonna look to manage risk as you come up to fill this wick, perhaps. That'll be around our 10 pit mark, I believe. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, around like, where, where, where? yeah, 8 pits profit. Actually, 8 pits profit here. Gonna move my stops to break even chat, making this a risk free trade. Um, This is now risk free as we're 8 pits profit, almost 9 here. Looking to close half at 10 pips, however, though. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I got stopped out here. Break even. Same. Oh. Good yeah, trade. it's a dub. Yeah, it's a really good trade. That's a good trade. Someone said L earlier. I think we got uh, <laughs> you, uh you're sick. You obviously you don't know. I got I got like you're eight. Sick. I got like you're eight sick. pips there. <laughs> Hi boys. Back to folding laundry. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys in a little bit. We're catching up. Yeah, man, we can go ten. <clears throat> That's fine.